Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Thursday, May 2nd, 2019. Got a free pick coming up, some NFL talk, some other sports we're going to talk about in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do so. You just click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video get set up for that free $60 account. Off to a great start in May. We ended up strong in April and then yesterday we start off the month of May with a 4-1 and one card. We won again in the NBA uh, last night and that was a, a nice win for us again as we're now 32-15, and 15, 68% against the spread with our last 47 NBA releases. Last night of course cashing with the Portland Trailblazers over Denver and today on Thursday I do have a play in the battle between the Raptors and the Sixers and it's a five unit play on Thursday. Five unit side between the Raptors and the Sixers. Uh, we passed game one of this series. We were in action in game two and we won in game two. Now we're back in action today on Thursday. And again, that play will be available on ThursdayDocSports.com, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. We'll look to extend our current NBA run to 33 and 15 with our last 48 and go up over $6,000 during the run for those wagering just $100 per unit. You can use that $60 free account on today's NBA, or you can use it on today's NHL. Split last night in the NHL overall. Uh, the winner was the Dallas Stars, 4-2 over the Blues, 1-1 one one overall in the NHL, 4-1 altogether. We had a big night again in baseball. Uh, we won the big underdog play that we told you about with the St. Louis Cardinals, 5-1 winner. The second play we had was the Cubs, 11-0 winner. We're now on a 7-0 run in Major League Baseball, 7 straight winners. We looked at Thursday's card, man. I looked through it two or three times because when you're winning, boy, it feels like winning begets winning, but we just couldn't find anything on the abbreviated Thursday card to sink our teeth into. So we'll pass baseball on Thursday and look ahead to Friday's card when all the numbers and the pitchers come out. So here's what we got going on Thursday. DocSports.com plays available Thursday morning. NBA five unit side between the Raptors and the Sixers will attempt to go to 33 and 15 with our last 48 NBA plays and a five unit play in the NHL. Go grab them Thursday morning, DocSports.com. Free pick in just a second. Want to get back to our NFL report, our thumbnail sketches going team by team. We are uh, covering the Miami Dolphins today. Tomorrow will be the New York Jets, but the Miami Dolphins wins total sitting at five. Got some bad news for Dolphins fan. I don't think they're going to get past four wins this year. I don't think they're going to be a frequent visitor to the wins column. If you look at what happened last year, listen, it didn't go so well. They dumped a bunch of veterans. The players that got filling roles and filling holes for this upcoming season are not even at the level of last year's players. It's a rebuild, no doubt about it. I love what they did in the draft. The defensive tackle, Christian Wilkins, no doubt about it. He'll make an immediate impact, as far as I'm concerned, on that defensive front. He's a defensive tackle, by the way. That was an A-plus signing, no doubt about it, or draft pick, I should say. Definitely A-plus on Christian Wilkins. Uh, they did make a draft trade to go out and get Josh Rosen as their quarterback, of course. Uh, from the Arizona Cardinals, and that's going to help out long term. You can't rely on Ryan Fitzpatrick, but overall, top to bottom, even if they start 2 0, remember you look at their schedule, they open the season with home games against the Baltimore Ravens. That's not impossible. Uh, after that, they've got the New England Patriots. They always seem to give New England a rough time in Miami. I don't think that's going to happen this year. Uh, New England's going to be coming in off a big game, but again, I just don't think the Dolphins have the guns to get it done this year at home against New England. But even if they were to go 2 and oh, I still look at their slate and I'm saying five wins tops, three wins, excuse me, three wins the rest of the way, even if they started 2 and oh, I don't believe they'll start 2 and oh, one and one at best, and I really don't believe they're going to win more than four games this year. When you look at the schedule, you look at the talent returning and what they've got to plug in to some of the holes, the veterans that they let go, looks like a four-win season for the Miami Dolphins. Again, tomorrow we'll complete this division with the New York Jets. I uh, want again uh, to mention what's going on Thursday at DocSports.com for me. Five unit NBA side would like to go to 33 and 15 and a five unit play in the NHL. Go check it out Thursday morning, DocSports.com. And for those who have asked, my Kentucky Derby picks will be available at DocSports.com on Saturday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. All right, let's get to our free pick for Thursday. We turn to Major League Baseball. We're going to back the Angels to get another win here. Uh, and I like the Angels 
Eagles in this spot. When I look at what this team uh, has done offensively, listen, it's a little bit better than what Toronto's done. And if you look at this situation, how they've done against uh, right-handers and home night games, going back to last year, you know, they actually played at almost five runs per game in this spot last year, where the situation Toronto's in last year, they only played at about three and a half runs per game. Uh, the Angels averaging almost five runs per game overall this year, uh, while you've got a Toronto team that's been a little underperforming as far as a run scored. I like the starting pitching advantage in this game with Skaggs on the mound. Uh, the bullpens are about equal, so kind of we'll call it a wash there, but I like everything else in the Angels' favor. So our free pick on Thursday's card in baseball, the Angels over the Toronto Blue Jays. And yes, we did lose our free pick yesterday, 4-1 and one with the premium picks, but we lost our free pick. We'll look to come back, start a new win streak here with the free picks on Thursday. Listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.